Eclipse.net is a fully web-based library management system, meaning it can be accessed from any web browser, giving you anytime, anywhere access. We can offer you Eclipse.net hosted and managed by MLS, or you can host it locally on your own school servers. I'm now going to take you through a short demonstration of Eclipse.net. This is the Eclipse.net homepage. This is the first page yourself and any user of Eclipse.net will be presented with. Here you can share any news and up and coming events in the library and around school. We provide you with a selection of news items. The first is the cloud. This shows you the most search for words in school. Pupils can actually click on a word and it will take them to those results. I selected horror and these are the horror results that we have within the library. Now I'll go back to the home page. We have the top 10. Here you can keep your students up to date with the top 10 most popular resources in school. A great way to further promote these items. We have new arrivals. Each time you add a new resource, Eclipse.net will display them straight away in the new arrivals news feature. Again, a great way to really promote your new resources. We have the returns trolley. The returns trolley automatically advises your students about recent returned resources. They can click on each item to find out more about that returned item in the central window. You have a news column. As a librarian, you can also create your own selection of news items. These can be accessed individually, from the list, or by clicking on the paper, which allows you to turn the pages to read the next news item. You have the latest reviews along the bottom. Each time a new review has been written on one of your resources, whether it is a book or even a useful website, it is displayed here, but only once it has been approved by yourself, of course. And finally, we have the Author's Corner. Here your students can search for video clips of authors talking about their books in their own words, or even take a look at a signed story which is available on your books. Science Stories is a fantastic resource for SEN pupils and for driving literacy standards for deaf children. When it comes to searching in Eclipse.net, we have something for everyone. If we select Search from the home page here, we have Picture Searches. These are pre-prepared searches ready to use. Your students will simply click on the picture to carry out the search. We also have A to Z searching. This is useful if you have a student wanting to search for a particular author or title, for example. You select your author and a letter and it will take you to that author. We also have a views area. You can build your own collection of picture searches, great for popular searches or termly topics. The advanced search. This allows your students to complete a more advanced Boolean style search, a great tool to use when teaching information literacy skills. And finally, we have the search bar in the top corner. The simple search bar will always be available at the top right hand corner of the screen, allowing students to complete a simple search at any time. If we now go to a view that I've already prepared for the accelerated reader books within my library here, it shows you all the books with an accelerated reader quiz that is available. It lists the number of resources at the side here, and you can scroll to the next page by selecting next, or the arrow here at the side. When a book is highlighted, information about that book is available at the bottom with regard to the summary, any linked resources to that item, any book reviews that have been written, and what other people have read. If we now go back to the home page, we can look at signing in using the My Account area here. This is where users log into their account. Eclipse.net will also link with Active Directory. Once logged in, your students can see an overview of their account, listed here. If they have any overdue items, what they currently have out on loan, which will be displayed here in the central window. They can also look back at what they've taken out in the past, 
These will also be listed in the central window. And you can also see if you owe any money to the library with regard to fines. You can set varying levels of access in Eclipse.net. As a librarian, I have the highest level, meaning that I can see the management, circulate and stock check icons. Your pupils wouldn't see these options. I will now take you through an overview of the management area of the system. If you are the librarian, this is where you will spend the majority of your time. We have tried to keep the structure of the management system to be broadly in line with the previous applications like Eclipse 2. All the databases for management are listed on the left hand side and all the tools for those databases are listed over here on the right hand side. When it comes to cataloguing a new resource, we simply click Add. And you can see that Eclipse.net provides you with a wide range of options. Eclipse.net has been designed to be a whole school resource, therefore you can manage your textbooks, you can track the loans of hardware, for example your laptops and digital cameras, and we also have the facility to catalogue ebooks and lots more. To add a book, we simply click on the book icon, we scan the barcode label inside the book, and we scan the ISBN on the back of the book. Then, Eclipse.net and Discover Online will work together and automatically fill in some of your book details. As you can see, we have a main details tab, giving the title and the Dewey number, etc. We have a summary tab, which will provide a summary of the book if one is available, and also the photograph of the front cover of the book, also if this is available. There is also a floor plan facility, whereby you can upload a floor plan of your library or even a site map of your school in order to help students locate the resource if they want to take it out on loan. Once you're finished, you click Save. If we click on News over here on the right, this takes us to the News database where we can create news for our news column on the home page. It is very simple. You click on Add, you add your content and schedule a start date and an end time for the article. The tools are similar to those that we'll be using in applications like Word, which will allow you to import images and embed hyperlinks into the web pages. Upon save, the news item will then be displayed on the home page for everybody to read. We also have a scheduler. This part of the system has been designed to take care of some of the regular tasks you have to carry out, therefore saving you some valuable time. These include scheduling your overdue reminders. These can be scheduled to print or email on a daily, weekly or fortnightly basis. It is still possible to run them manually from within the current loans as required. If you prefer, we also have the facility to send these in reservation notifications via text message. You can also import web links data containing thousands of website licenses for you from Corel Press, which can be imported automatically so they are always up to date. If you use Accelerated Reader from Renaissance Learning, then you can import their master quiz list. This will ensure that students can find books that have a quiz attached and that you can track your quiz resources and even print labels for them. Let's have a look at Circulate. As you can see, we have tried to keep the Circulate as familiar as possible with existing MLS customers upgrading. You can access a borrower's account by scanning their barcode using an RFID or smart card that might have a dual purpose for cashless catering for example or by typing their surname or PIN. Once you are in the borrower's account you can see a summary of their details. This shows the number of current loans, overdue items and any fines that are owed. Resources can be issued with a simple scan of a barcode and returned in the same way. It is also possible to renew resources and mark them as missing at this point. The loan period can be changed from a normal loan to a day or overnight loan. Alternatively, you can specify a return date manually if you wish to do so. Messages can be left for borrowers as a reminder the next time you access their account. The Past Loan tab allows you to view their loan's history. Reservations will allow you to look at any reserved items and make reservations for the student. And the Statement tab details money owing, such as fines for overdues. The Multi-Return tab allows you to return multiple items without the need to have the borrower with you. And finally, statistics can be produced by using the page use function in each database or by accessing the system reports from the module menu. 
This also gives you access to such items as stock check and label printing for spine labels and additional barcodes. And that is a brief overview of what Eclipse.net has to offer. Thank you for your time. If you'd like to discuss this further, if you require any more information, please do not hesitate to give us a call.